The fortified gates of Solomon have been known for half a dozen years, but they're interesting confirmation of what we read in 1 Kings chapter 9. This is the account of the forced labor which King Solomon levied to build the house of the Lord, his own house, the Milo, this is at Jerusalem, and then also he built at Hazer and Megiddo and Gezer. Well, of course, Solomon is this fictitious creature like Zeus that uh, you know, the real scholars don't believe in. But what did he do at Hazer and Megiddo and Gezer? Well, you go there and you find these strange-looking gates that guard the city. Very <laughs> difficult to break through these gates into the city with this kind of fortification. And the places where you find these gates are at Hazer and Megiddo and Gezer. <laughs> and the pottery that we find associated with the gates is from the time of Solomon. Isn't that a surprise? I think that's exactly what the text describes. That's where Solomon built. We move to Tel Dan. This is up at the northern end of Israel. Uh, we can see Mount Hermon in the background. Uh, this is the northern extremity of Israel, and there we find Dan. You remember when uh, the, the kingdom split? And you've got Jeroboam and Rehoboam. Rehoboam took the ten tribes to the north, and he set up at Dan uh, and at Bethel altars to keep them from going back to Jerusalem. Well, even the Department of Antiquities now have recognized that they have found that altar at Dan, and they have their signs put up that commemorates Jeroboam's altar at Tel Dan. This is a picture of that restored. The, the metal part has been restored, but they have found with the utensils uh, clear indications that that's what that is. This is uh, Dr. Clifford Wilson, who was head of excavations at Gazer for a number of years, a very strong believer in the Word of God. The utensils that they found that were used by the priests to offer the sacrifices are now in the museum there in Jerusalem. This was one of two altars, you remember, at Dan and at Bethel. Well, the altar at Bethel was destroyed, wasn't it, by the curse. Remember the young prophet and the old prophet in that story, and he cursed the altar, and it split. This one didn't, <laughs> and this one we have found. On the southern side of the city of Dan that has been excavated over a number of years, we see the gate to the city. In a number of places in the Old Testament, you read that they sat at the gates, and this is where judgment was rendered. You remember Job sat at the gates of the city, and others uh, had judgment rendered there. This is a scene that gives insight into that. Here's where the judge sat, the elders sat beside him. Now, these uh, wooden poles, of course, have been restored, but they fit into the sockets that were there, and they were for the wooden poles, and look just like this. Just outside that gate, another excavation took place in 1993. Here's the, where the gate was that we just looked at. Just outside an inscription that formed a steel. This is an upright stone with writing on it, commemorating some historical event, typically. It was found in 1993 by an official Providence dig, one of the objections the archaeological people make if you find something that they don't like, well, it's not a providence dig. It wasn't under the authority of the Department of Antiquities. And most of the great finds, like the Dead Sea Scrolls, weren't found in that manner. But this was, this was by one of the leading archaeologists in Israel, a providence dig under the, uh, the auspices of the Department of Antiquities. And it describes a battle between Hazel, king of Aram, and the kings of Judah and Israel. Again, this was written by the enemies, by the one who actually defeated Israel, and basically it's saying, I just whipped them bad. You know, I destroyed the house of David. Now, one of the statements that you find commonly in the standard textbooks is there's no reference to David, there's no archaeological evidence for this great kingdom, and we'll see some of that in a minute. And it's not so. And here is absolute proof that there was a house of David, that this claim that they never existed is just dishonest because it has been archaeologically confirmed again by the enemies of God. 